Okay, so we've got uh, the various roles and responsibilities within the organization, and they're uh, sometimes specific, sometimes uh, just level of responsibility for risk management. And uh, what they are going to be doing in, in that regard. And, and what we should be encouraging them in, uh, uh, what um, we can hold them responsible and accountable for, and, and various things there. Uh, first of all, there is executive management. And they are ultimately responsible for everything. And we have to remember that. Again, as I, uh, as I said um, earlier on, uh, they, you know, they call the shots. They do. They, you know, it's, it's their responsibility. We, our responsibility is to advise. Our responsibility is to manage specific details based on the policies that they agree to. Uh, you know, we advise on, on creation of policy, certainly. But, as I said, in, in terms of the contract that I had, the, um, you know, I identified the problem. They didn't want to deal with it. They liked the situation the way it was. Okay, you know, that's, that is the reality. Uh, that means my, my contract is over. I have identified the problem. I have told them what they need to do. They didn't want to do it end of contract, end of my responsibility. It's, you know, I do have neither the right nor the responsibility to, to make those changes as a security professional. Uh, well, in that case, it was partly a management uh, consultant and, and professional. Um, at any rate, um, same, same thing, that, uh, you know, they, they hold the ultimate responsibility. And we have to remember that. Even when we think that they don't understand, um, you know, we, we have the responsibility to advise, but, uh, you know, they, they call the shots. Um, we think we know more about security, and we probably do, but they know more about the business, and it's their responsibility for the business. It is not ours. Uh... Then there are the uh, the data owners, and and of course, uh, uh, in some cases, the the data owners is a a technical term. So when we get into access control and the different access control models, um, and uh, that sort of thing. But you know, overall, there are departments that uh, basically own certain databases that are responsibility for. Uh, those things, even though they are not uh, security professionals. Again, you know, they, it is their responsibility. They uh, call the shots with regard to that database. We advise, we manage uh, upon their request at, you know, their, in, in terms of their policy. But, uh, you know, they own the data, the database, the, you know, that's their responsibility. Um, and there are going to be technology providers. Again, uh, you know, utility companies, sometimes vendors. Um, they have some responsibility in terms of, you know, what they are providing to us. Hopefully they are not lying to us. We are responsible for ensuring that they're not. We have to find ways. We have to find metrics. We have to find our assurance requirements to figure out that, what we need from the technology that we are are purchasing, that we are contracting, is in fact uh, working correctly and doing what we want it to. Uh, those people are outside of our uh, jurisdiction, but our our contracts need to be written in such a way to hold them accountable. Uh, there's the position of custodian or, or steward, uh, custodian being the more technical term, but sometimes, uh, particularly with regard to uh, data owners or, or system owners, um, they know that they do not have the, uh, the expertise to deal with it. And so uh, this is 
either contracted or um, uh, given to uh, sometimes us at, in the security department, sometimes um, you know more frequently a, a network or systems uh, IT function, and they hold the responsibility in lieu of the actual data owner. So the custodian is, uh, you know, doesn't in a sense have the ultimate responsibility, but does have to act as if they do on behalf of the actual owner. And of course there are the users of our, our systems, which may be our employees, which may be our customers. Um, there are certain responsibilities. We have to spell those responsibilities out because these are not necessarily people with specific training and they may not see the responsibilities in the same way we do. So we have to have, uh, for example, login warnings uh, that, you know, this is the company's uh, system that you are logging on to. Uh, you have been given access to this for specific purposes and you are not to exceed those purposes. Uh, in, we, you know, uh, we talk about welcome banners. I don't think that there are many of them anymore. But in the old days, uh, it would just say, Welcome to you know, XYZ Corporation's computer system. And uh, in the old days, some hackers actually successfully used that as um, defenses in court when uh, they were found uh, you know, to have trespassed on a system. And, and they would say, well, you know, we, you know, we, we got in, we, or, you know, we, we got to a, a login prompt and it said, welcome to the system. So we figured it was okay. And, and it was a successful defense in some cases. So welcome banners have, have sort of gone out of style. Um, as I mentioned, in terms of the custodians, there are the uh, information systems or information technology functions, uh, those departments, and uh, they very often act as the custodians. They may have been given sort of overall responsibility for the company. Again, uh, in a sense, uh, when that happens, they are acting as custodians for senior management and therefore, again, sort of have to act as if they have overall responsibility for the entire system, the, the ultimate responsibility there. Now, I <laughs> saving the best for last, finishing up with the auditors. Now, uh, the auditors, uh, systems auditors, data auditors, uh, security auditors, like financial auditors, are considered to be the enemy. Uh, that supposedly they go through after the battle and bayonet all the wounded. And, you know, lots of people, you, you get a report from the auditor and, you know, that's, that's bad news. That's, you know, uh, everybody looks at it as, as this is a, a real problem. No, this is not a problem. The auditors are not there uh, to make your life difficult. In fact, the auditors are your best friend. You get, you know, I get a systems audit, a security audit. And the auditors have said that the system that Rob has responsibility for is full of holes. It's, uh, you know, it's problematic. It's not going to keep anybody out. And a lot of people would get very upset about that. Not me. No, I take that to senior management and I throw it down on the table and say, see, I told you I needed more money. Uh, you know, the, the auditors are there. And, and again, you know, audit has to be separate from actual operations and management. I, I write books. You cannot edit your own stuff. Uh, believe me, I've, I, you know, done this multiple times. You have to have somebody else edit you. You have to have somebody else audit you. And uh, it is the, the standard of keeping the auditors out of operations is there for a reason, and it's a real good reason. Stick to it. <laughs>